folks. It is Block 539 heading south on Pacific Coast Highway once again. It's Sunday morning. Going to the classic auto show. Spent most of the day yesterday at the show. Lots of really incredible cars, some great people. We're gonna get a chance to see some more and talk to some, some awesome car guys and girls. It's an incredible day of cars, as every day should be. Let's go to it. with probably the best car club in this entire space. Yes. We have Chuck's V8, which is really a rare that car, car. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Yes. It's, and it, but it, and it's been said, and officially, it does drive like a Porsche. It's like an incredible, everything it's on It's actually car. faster than some Porsches. <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah, it's also a little scarier. <laughs> yeah. In a good way. Actually, I rode in it, I raced in it with him, and it was the best afternoon ever. It was amazing. It was you're incredible. like you're like the wife that anyone would want with car guys, right? <laughs> yes. All right, well, we're going to walk around the show, check out some cool stuff. But if you want to see some really cool stuff, Corvair Club right here. Once again, at the Classic Auto Show, checking out some serious classics. This guy's getting a free ride. cars are from the Peterson. These cars aren't. These cars are cooler. ones to ones that are not necessarily so nice but still cool actually I like these better Play me for a fool 
Automobile Drive Museum. It's like taking a kid to a candy show. Candy store. Car show. Greg. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, this is Alex, and this show uh, has a lot of classic cars. Yes. A lot of really beautiful Chevys and Fords and, and all the all the normal stuff. But your your truck is not really normal, man. Well, it has to be something different from everybody else. Different is an understatement because we did show this car in yesterday's show. We came over and kind of but you you were here, but we kind of showed a little bit of it. But what what inspired this thing? Because this is out of control. Well, first of all, uh, we wanted something different. Yeah. Second of all, uh, I wanted something that it meant to a lot of people, and it was my culture and, and, and what I feel about life. Yeah. Okay. And and, uh, and about animals and everything. What can you can you give me one sentence as to what this car represents for you? Uh, culture. See, the the, the thing is about cars that I love is like me and you. Mm -hmm. If we're in the street, we normally won't talk. Yeah. Yeah. Because about politics and other stuff. Yeah. Okay. I'll hear exactly. Yeah. yeah. I'll hear you yeah. will come and ask me for the, the truck. The door's open. And it doesn't matter who who's gonna ask. Yeah. Yeah. Because we all love cars. Great words man. And that's that's really what this show is all, is all about is it brings people together, people that are not only uh, across genders, across cultures, exactly. everything. Exactly. We can all come together and, and appreciate that. You couldn't do that with guy with sports. You know you couldn't put football and baseball guys together. Yeah, they wouldn't so talk they to each other. Exactly. Right? Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, exactly. You can have any kind of classics and you can have this incredible thing. I, I gotta commend you. This is I, I understand the kind of work that goes into something like this. Yes. But it, the vision is extraordinary, especially that steering wheel. I got to show these guys. Exactly. That, that, that steering wheel was something that uh, we were looking for it for a long time. It was not just, oh, we need that. No, yeah. no, no. I yeah. want something really special. And when I, uh, when I found the right person to do it, yeah. uh, believe me, it came from far, far away. Oh, man. All right. Check this out, guys. at the show yeah, it's the next day actually the next morning so yesterday's show was was very interesting very diverse and um, very educational you know the world of cars is a, a very unique thing and, and as I mentioned that uh, you can put people who are not only cross genders cross cultures cross cars you can put them all together and they can have a great discussion and they can and they can give love for the, the things that they they're into in regards to their cars but when you go to a show like what the classic auto show 
has created. You realize that what a show like this does, because at, on the superficial level, you look around, you can see all these really great cars and, and people having a good time. But actually what it's doing is it's pulling people together. It's pulling people together that wouldn't normally hang out together. You have a section where there's, uh, you know, all these great uh, Latino builders and designers, and then you got the some of the Japanese cars, and then you got some of the, the low riders that aren't necessarily the Latino versions. Then you got the classic car guys, you got the muscle car guys, and everyone's kind of commingling. A really great automotive melting pot, and that's that's the best thing about a show like this is these people get to swap stories and interact and be social. The great thing about about Los Angeles that I like about uh, Southern California is it is a melting pot. It's a place where we can all commingle, we can all interact, we can all give love for the things that we, we're into. And through that, we help to inspire each other and to raise, raise the bar for the rest of the world. So I'm very grateful to be here and to be surrounded by so many incredibly talented people that are striving to raise the bar, striving to inspire and help everybody else. And that brings me to today's theme, and that is that there's really no way to change the world other than to change your own individual world. And through that, through you striving to be better and to be more open and to be aware of what it is that you're doing in your life, you inspire others to do the same. And that can lead to one person being inspired, that can lead to 10, that can lead to 20, that can lead to, to uh, an entire city. And the secret to doing that is being aware, living your life awake, not living your life like uh, the walking dead, like zombies. And that's, you know, kind of even, even the Bible talks about that. And as I've mentioned in previous vlogs, I'm not a big religion guy, but I am a very big spiritual guy. When it comes to being able to affect the world on a level uh, and, and wake them up to their own power, their own individual power to create greatness, that's something that we all strive to do. It's something that we, we want to teach. It's something that we want to live in our own lives so that we can affect others in a positive way. And through that positivity, you essentially affect the world. And in my world, my own choice. I do that with cars. I do that with beach life. In your world, you may do it with something that you love. The point is to be able to find that thing you love and to be able to share it with that audience. So it's the beginning of the week. It's Monday. And uh, I really want you guys to get out there, not only be your best, but think about things, uh, uh, think about how you can affect the world. How can you give love out into the world by what it is that you do? Everything starts internally from the inside out. So put out the awesome today. Get out there, be awesome. Try to affect people in a positive way. Give compliments of the best of yourself and watch what happens. Amazing things happen. And you will affect people. You will affect them in a positive nature, thus building their life and building yours at the same time. And that is Blog 539. I'm off like a prom dress.